What's up guys, it's your boy Quick Bricks. Today's review, set number 76989, Horizon Forbidden West's Tall Neck. Now for those of you who don't know, Horizon Forbidden West video game made by Guerrilla Games. They've created a post-apocalyptic version of the United States where people have formed nomadic tribes and enormous lumbering robots. Some of them aren't enormous, some of them are pretty small. Uh, rule the untamed lands. I'll be honest, I haven't played in full either game. I started the first one, Horizon Zero Dawn. I got, I imagine, a few hours into it and then um, life happens. Uh, definitely happens with these huge open world games. Anyway, enough about the game. Let's get in. Why are we here? Because of the tall neck. Because it's pretty sweet. That's why we're here. Enough about that. Let's uh, get into the box art. This is gorgeous. Lego has produced some stunning, stunning boxes lately. And this is definitely one of them. The tall neck looks great against the black backdrop. It really highlights the Lego model um, perfectly. It's, it's fantastic. You've got your standard box features showing the minifigure in one-to-one -one scale. You've got a diagram, sort of a blueprint on the back of the box of the tall neck showing that it's 21 centimeters or eight and a half inches wide by 34 centimeters or 13.5 inches tall. Um, you've got a couple of scenes down the bottom, the middle one from the game, uh, one from the Watcher, which is a pretty little cool uh, addition to this set, and uh, another one of Alloy on the top of the tall neck. Um, overall, it's a really, really, really good box. Very cool. And uh, after that, we move on to the manual. Again, it mimics the image of the box art with the tall neck, Watcher, Alloy on the base on a black backdrop and then you open it up and you get some awesome history and just a little bit of background on the world and what you're building the tall neck itself some really cool art um, in there only a few pages nothing massive but it does give people who like myself haven't uh, played the game fully a bit of history on the games which is very much appreciated it's quite a well-made manual to be honest, um, I haven't built a lot of these bigger sets lately, so I've sort of missed out on these very nice printings. Um, although going digital is the future for all of us. So the box is epic, the manual's epic, this is the base. So you start off, you build the base, features a wonderful variety of ground for the tall neck, watcher and alloy to stand on including grass and clay sandy looking areas and a rocky area there's some beautifully created vegetation uh, which includes some flowers an autumn hue tree and uh, some very sizable reeds for alloy to hide in uh, for those of you who want to play with this the uh personally though the best part of this base for me is the old traffic light with the vine wrapping around it the the level of detail is very cool you can manipulate it around you can hang alloy off of it as if she's diving in to attack the watcher it's a very cool base I, it's fantastic next up is the superstar of the show full of superstars because lego knocked it out of the park with this one one of the most detailed and incredible minifigures to release in a long time alloy's minifigure is absolutely sublime the printed arms and legs are perfect they match her in the game there's no mistaking who she is the hair piece has been molded specifically for alloy I'm sure we'll see it in other sets, but the level of detail is truly incredible. Instantly recognisable as Alloy from the game. Slight nitpick if you want to be nitpicky. This isn't a personal complaint, but it's a complaint I've seen. The leg, side of the legs aren't printed. For me, that's that means nothing. The, the minifigure overall is sublime. Then we come to the tall neck itself. It's posable on the base. It has a limited um, variety of poses and functions. The head does move up and down. Each of the blades on its neck move. You know, the tail pieces move. Um, the spines coming off the back of the head, they move as well. It doesn't have articulated knees, which would make it more posable, which would be really cool. But otherwise, it is 
fantastic. There's no mistaking what this is. It is spectacular. You can pose it on the base, it can stand on its own with no trouble, um, which is really surprising because it looks extremely top heavy. Um, it's, a, it's a very mix of challenge and ease when you're building it, when some of those articulated pieces come into play. It's absolutely perfect. There's a limited amount of stickers. I know a lot of people don't like a lot of stickers. There's a few stickers around the head um, and a couple up at the back, but um, nothing too annoying. And if you, you're careful and take your time, you'll be fine with the sticker placement. I may have put some upside down. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check on mine. The pros to this, the building the set, it was awesome between the articulation of the tall neck, the detail in the base, everything was a lot of fun and there was quite a variety of building techniques to keep going. The accuracy of the set is absolutely spot on. It is perfect. There's no, there's no mistaking it. You know what this is. Anyone who plays video games knows what this is. It's perfect. As a display piece, it is exceptional. The tall neck doesn't need the base to stand. So if you really want to play with it, you can. The minifigure is one of the best. One of the best. Highlight that, put it in bold, sparkling lights across the city. It is beautiful. The small amount of stickers is another positive. This set ticks all the boxes as somebody who wants to display something, somebody who has the video game. It's, it's absolutely perfect. Now we're moving on to a a tiny amount of nitpicks and they are nitpicks they are petty nitpicks alloy minifigure as mentioned earlier doesn't have printed legs i think the rest of the minifigure makes up for that lack of detail and to be frank it, it means nothing to me personally but i've seen the complaints so i'm acknowledging it for the people who have that complaint and the other small nitpick is the tall neck doesn't have movable knees giving you more poseable options but those complaints hardly take away from a breathtaking set. This is one of the best LEGO display pieces I have ever seen. It gets 10 out of 10. My first 10 out of 10, my only 10 out of 10 so far. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you disagree, let me know why. Um, otherwise, share it, subscribe, chuck a comment in there. We love you all. We'll catch you in the next one.